What is up, awesome people? Okay, so we got another single battle here from our recent live stream, and this one was up against Jake, who had Atropius, Rotom Wash, Hitmonchan, uh, Crocodile, uh, Crocodile, um, Jirachi, and Dan Manitan. And my team was Mothum, Lilligant, Swampert, Lanoon, another Crocodile on my side, and Vespiquen. Okay, so Tropius is probably a special defense wall, half a set with Citrus Berry, um, Protect, Leech Seed, Air Slash. I think. Usually that's what Tropius is. I've seen a lot of them now on stream thanks to Pip Knight using one. Rotom Wash is probably either a trick set with Choice Scarf, uh, Hydro Pump, Thunderbolt, Shadow Bolt, Shadow Ball, um, Hitmonchan. Ooh, Hitmonchan. Haven't seen you in a while. Um, usually your Choice Scarf um, with Iron Fist, um, Mac Punch, Ice Punch, Fire Punch, Power Up Punch. Usually our mental punches. I know I mentioned a few of them, I forgot. Um, bullet punch, etc., etc. Crocodile, I usually choice scarf. Um, it can be a life orb set as well. Definitely with Moxie, that can be one to be feared. Um, uh This was like Doomsday to me because I knew one would eventually show up on stream and Doomsday finally appeared. Yep, and it had to be against me. Um, Jirachi is usually a choice scarf with Iron Head Flinch. The Flinch Archie, or the Annoying Para... Oh, I forgot what they're called, but they're really annoying. I hate Jirachis with a passion. Um, as I said, Choice Scarf, Iron Head, Spam. Uh, Dimenitin could also be Choice Scarf or Choice Banded. Um, Flare Blitz... Oh god, I haven't used one in so well. Um, it's usually Flare Blitz with Hammer Arm usually, Brick Break maybe. I th uh, Stone Edge, I think it learns Earthquake. I can't remember what's off my head at the moment. Um, anyways, um, yeah, this was actually a really interesting battle. It's kind of long at the beginning, a little bit, thanks to, like, a little bit of setup, eventually got ended, but, uh, you might have to deal with that a little bit. Not much I can do. Anyways, um, let's see how this battle played out. As I said, it is a really interesting battle. I actually do remember this one on top of my head, because this was the most memorable battle for the night, and I'm very proud of this battle. Anyways, he's going to leave with his Dark Medicine. I'm going to leave with Motham here. He's going to go straight for the Flare Blitz here, which is going to deal a whopping big damage here to Motham, thanks to Motham's non-existent defenses. Anyways, I do have Focus Sash on this Motham, because it definitely needs it to live anything. Um, recall damage there to Dark Medicine. I go straight for the Quiver Dance here, raising my Special Attack, Special Defense, and Speed by plus one. So that is going to help me outspeed Dark Manitan because this is max special attack, max speed. And I'll go straight for the air slash and then it's going to take out the Dark Manitan quite easily. So that does Dark Manitan. In comes Rotom Wash. That thing is so damn small and but such spam as well. Um, Bug Buzz straight away and that is going to one hit KO Rotom Wash which is absolutely fantastic because that is a big threat to my team. Anyways, you're going to send in Hitmonchan, definitely expecting the bullet punch here, so Mothin did an absolutely beastly job there taking out two Pokemon straight off the bat, so I was very proud with Mothin indeed. So up next, I have got Vespiquen. So every time I try using Vespiquen, something usually goes wrong. And something went wrong again in this battle, but I'll talk about later on in the battle. Anyways, Hitmonchan goes for the substitute here, so that's very interesting. I go for the um, Defend Order here, raising my Defense and Special Defense by plus one. He goes for the Close Combat here. That, um, not too sure why, because Vespiquen does resist that. And I do have Defend Order up as well, and that didn't actually do too much for Vespiquen at all. Then again, I am a bulky set regardless. Anyways, I go for another Defend Order there, raising my Defense and Special Defense again. So, Defend Order is very similar to Cosmic Power, if, if anything, very similar to Cosmic Power. Anyways, um, another bullet punch there to Vespiquen, just did a little bit more damage there to Vespiquen. Again, not doing too much. That was even a crit, didn't really do much. So this is definitely an Iron Fist set. Um, defense and Special Defense Rose again. So this is a really, um, this is my unique set for Vespiquen. You don't usually see this set very often, if not at all. So he's going to withdraw his Hitmonchan because he can do nothing to my Vespiquen and goes into Crocodile. So the first thing I thought was Stone Edge, which is going to absolutely annihilate my Vespiquen thanks to 4 times weakness to Rock. And that chance for a crit, which usually is the thing that wrecks me. So another Defend Order up there. I think even with the amount of Defend Orders I have, Stone Edge would still kill it. But this thing goes for a Fire Fang, which 
kind of as a throw off because I wasn't expecting it at all. I do get the damn bird and I get the flinch. What the hell? I don't usually see that at all on Fire Fang. I didn't even think that could happen. God damn my luck. I got two hexes in one go. Wow. So it then goes for the outrage. So that's not. Well, it did. Wow, that was a crit. Wow. Um, that did a lot of damage. I think normally that wouldn't deal that very much. But anyways, um, I'll go for the Defender again, raising my Defense and Special Offense again there. So, Outrage and Fire Fang won't really do that much now to Vesper Quinn. Burn is going to negate my Leftovers. So, it's now locked into Outrage. I know this thing is not going to do too much, so I'm A-OK -okay with that. So, there we are. That's what it really does. Not very much at all. So, I've got Heal Order on this set. So, I'm just going to recover my health with Heal Order there. So, I've got about three-quarter health now. So more leftover recovery there, which is again negated by burn. And as I said, that kind of does hurt my Vespiquen, because this is a physical set Vespiquen, surprisingly, which is why I don't have Power Gem on it. Which can be actually a bugger, because Power Gem is actually pretty handy at times. Anyways, uh, Crocodile is now confused thanks to fatigue there on Outrage. I now set up the Home Claws, just raising my attack and accuracy. I'm mostly doing it for the attack, not the accuracy. So leftover recovery there for um, Vespiquen, as I said, negated by Burn, unfortunately. Right, so he's now confused thanks to Outrage. He gets past it and goes for the Fire Fang. So that is not going to deal very much damage at all thanks to all the defend orders I've got up. Another Home Claws there, raising my attack even further, so that is going to negate Burn now, so I'm back to neutral attack. Leftover recovery, again negated by burn, so I may as well stop mentioning it. <laughs> god, god damn that burn, and god damn that flinch at the same time. Right, so, confused again, and gets passed again. God damn it, hit yourself. So another five fang there, does not deal too much damage. So, really the only thing that can go wrong here is if he gets a crit and bypasses all my stat ups. So I heal all of there to spring my vessel can back up the f nearly full health. So, more burn damage there. That residual damage is really annoying. Right, so it snaps out of confusion, goes for the foul play, which he should have done probably a little bit earlier because I have been raising my attack, but thanks to Defend Order, it's not going to do too much anyway. So, another Home Claws there, raising my attack and accuracy again. Leftover recovery. Now, I think this turn I actually went for an attack, I think. I can't remember. Anyway, it's more burn damage there to Vesperquen. Goes for the foul play again on my Vespiquen. And again, not too much uh, damage. I went for the heal order here, just playing it really, really safe in case he did go for the crit. So if he does go for foul play, I think it will be a definite KO. But I think if he goes for Fire Fang and crits me at this range, I don't think it's a KO. So anyways, he goes for the foul play here. And again, that's not going to deal too much damage. Alright, so another Home Claws here. Um, I should probably attack sometime soon because I am fearing that crit. So more leftover recovery there for Vespiquen, again negated by Burn. Uh, God damn it. So he goes for the foul play. So just trying to deal a crit, and he finally gets the crit! God damn crits! So unfortunately crits do bypass um, all my stat boosts. And gets the Moxie there as well, so god damn it, because that turn I actually did click um, attack order, which would have killed this thing actually. Anyways, I go for the sleep powder there on Crocodile with Lilligant, so that puts it to sleep, because that thing is goddamn annoying now because it took down my Vespiquen, and I would have probably swept with Vespiquen if that did not happen. Anyways, I go for the Quiver Dance here, just raising my special attack and special defense and speed by plus one. And this guy is seriously lucky. For he wakes up and goes for the Fire Fang, which is going to deal over half damage, or nearly three quarter damage there to Lily again. I'm going to go straight for the Petal Dance here, and that is going to hurt Crocodile and take that goddamn thing out because I'm seriously annoyed with it. That's ah, god damn it! I would have done a perfect Best Quen sweep if that didn't happen. Anyways, he's going to send in his Hitmonchan. I go for the Petal Dance since I'm locked in. That is going to take out the Hitmonchan as well. So Lilligan is on a roll here, just making up for the Vendetta I now have against um, his team and his good luck. Sends his Banana Saw, which he probably should have done last turn. Goes for the Protect, so that is going to stop... Oh no, I'm locked. I've gone out of um, Petal Dance. 
So I go for the teeter dance here, and that us is going to confuse Tropius. I'm so mad I can't even talk properly at the moment. So he's confused. And does not hit himself, goes for the air slash and takes out my lid again. So I'm getting extremely unlucky here. So another Pokemon goes down on my side. Alright, so I'm going to send in my Lanoon. Alright, so Lanoon, he's my ace up my sleeve. Hopefully this will work. This is a big gimmick set, so I'm not too sure how this is going to work. So I go straight for the belly drum here, expecting him to go for the protect. Snaps out of confusion, of course, and he goes for the growth. So that was a bit of a cocky move there. He, um, probably should have gone for Air Slash and taken out my Lanoon. Unless he knew that Air Slash wouldn't have done anything because he wouldn't have invested anything in special attack. I go for the facade and then he's going to take out his Tropius. Alright, so his last Pokemon is Jirachi. Now I'm thinking, oh my god, I'm not going to take this thing out with facade because this thing is goddamn annoying and resisting it. Facade hits it and oh my god. God, that just one shot at the Jirachi. Holy crap! Wow! What a way to end the battle. Lanoon just one hit at a Jirachi with facade. Turns out when I did the battle damage calcs, if that was a physical sweeping Jirachi set, which most of them are with Choice Scarf and Iron Head, there's an 86% chance of taking out a Jirachi with plus 6 facade, toxic or boosted facade. Um. But yeah, it's 86% chance of a one-hit KO. I could not believe that. Holy crap, that is really strong. But yeah, um, that's the battle. That was definitely GG. Um, I saw some really unexpected things there. Um, definitely wasn't expecting Motham to take out two pokes. Wasn't expecting my luck to be that bad, actually. Um, especially that flinch and burn on that fire fang. That was really annoying. And the crit on foul play on poor Vespi Quinn. Oh, one day I'm going to show you guys how that Vespiquen set works. One day, it will happen. I will show you how it works. I've been wanting to see that in action, but I never get a chance to see it. Um, but yeah, um, thank you for watching my video. Um, hope you guys love the end, well, the brilliant Lanoon ending. Um, I won't get to see that ever again because it's a very gimmicky set. It doesn't usually work. Um, Toxic or Quick Feed set for those who want to know. Facade. Um, yeah, so... Make sure to keep an eye out for future Wi-Fi battles of mine and make sure to check out previous Wi-Fi battles of mine as well. Um, and yeah, um, this is Lady Crimson saying ciao for now, but not forever. Ciao!